Writing the wrongs of the past, several Tennesseans are working to reunite a former enslaved person and his wife that were buried apart. Six on your side's Kristen Gallant spoke to the historian who uncovered the story of Elizabeth and Hayde Black. Bo, it's a story that could have been forgotten in history and literally lost in the woods in Anderson County if it wasn't for a 10-year-old boy named Leo York. This cemetery, when they uh, moved it in 1962, I was 10 years old, <laughs> and a 10-year-old that's uh, out wandering around is always curious about what's going on. The Black Family Cemetery is a piece of hidden history in Anderson County. This is Lieutenant Joseph Black, and then over there is his wife, Catherine. Their bodies were moved here after TVA bought the land close by in the early 1960s to build its Bull Run fossil plant in Claxton. In 2012, I tried to come back down here to see the old cemetery, but this was so grown up down through here, the trail was that you couldn't get through. Leo York made it his mission to clear the path and learn the stories of 75 unidentified enslaved persons and more than a half dozen Anderson County veterans. The one name that was on that record that didn't make sense and didn't fit in was Hayde Black. Hayde Black was born into slavery, as was his wife Elizabeth. In uh, 1921, after Hayde died, Elizabeth left and she went to um, Gadsden Town, which is a settlement on uh, Raccoon Valley Road across from Clinton Highway that was a settlement for freed slaves. Hayde was buried at the Black Cemetery, but York couldn't find Elizabeth's grave. This was the last record that I found of Hayde and Elizabeth, and this was uh, the record that uh, really brought me to tears. This is uh, the death certificate of Lizzie Black. She was 65 years old. She died at Knoxville General Hospital. She had cancer of the gallbladder. They had no idea who her parents were or her birth date. Elizabeth died February 18th, 1926. From there, she was taken to the uh, Popper Cemetery in Knoxville and buried there. Now York wants to bring Hayde and Elizabeth back together. It would uh, bring closure, I think, to Hayde and to Elizabeth and definitely to me if her remains could be located and, and she could be reunited with Hayde at his, at his burial site. History York wants corrected. There's room here. And it's history York doesn't want to be forgotten. The Anderson County Board of Commission has played an important part in helping to preserve the land. They've gotten the approval and are working to move Elizabeth's body out of the abandoned Knox County Potter's Field Cemetery and lay her to rest next to her husband. Kristen, thank you. You know, TVA also said in a statement, even though they do not own the land where the cemetery is currently located, TVA has a strong record of working with the public and groups to preserve cultural and historical resources across the Tennessee Valley, including preservation efforts for older cemeteries.